Martin Luther King Jr. Day got me thinking about how we can impact others and how quickly that impact can spread, uh, which made me start thinking of the idea of paying it forward. So for those of you unfamiliar, the idea is that one person des uh, decides they want to perform three kind acts or something big for three other people. Then they tell them to pay it forward by performing three kind acts or something big for three more people. So then mathematically what we get is we get layers of people who are impacted by that first person. So in the first layer, we have the three people that they started with, and then each of those three people finds three, uh, three people of their own. So three times three is nine in the second layer. And then all nine of those people are going to find three people. So then nine times three is 27 in the third layer. We want to find the fourth layer. We have a nice pattern. Nine times, uh, or three times 27 is 81. So then if we want to find the total number of people in packs, we can just add up all the layers. And it would be nice if each pieces of the sum or each piece of the sum could be related back to the layer it came from. And all of these pieces are just powers of three, so we can rewrite them. Uh, so three to the zero is one, three to the one power is three, three times three or three squared is nine, three times three times three or three cubed is 27, and then three to the fourth, that's 81. If we want to find out how many people have been impacted after five layers, we just add three to the fifth. After six layers, three to the sixth. But then what if we want to find after 20 layers? Well, it starts to get a little annoying and tedious to calculate. But luckily, there's actually a formula to add up the powers of three. So if we add up the, the powers of three up to three to the n, that'll tell us the number of people impacted after n layers of pay it forward. So uh, the formula is actually three to the n plus one minus one divided by two. So if you want to find uh, after four layers, we just plug in four. We get 243 minus one divided by two. So then we get 242 divided by two, which is 121. We can quickly verify that using the numbers we had earlier, one plus three plus nine plus 27 plus 81. That's 121. Okay, great. So then now maybe we want to figure out how many layers it's going to take for us to match the current population of the Earth, 7.4 billion about. So we can do this using some pretty simple algebra. Just multiply by 2 on both sides because we're trying to solve for n. That's the number of layers. We want to get n by itself. So then those 2s cancel each other out. We're left with 3 to the n plus 1 minus 1 equals 14.8 billion. So now add 1 to both sides. Okay, so now we're at a point where we're saying, what power do we raise 3 to to get 14.8 billion? So we can actually calculate this using logarithms. All this log is doing for us is it's going to actually calculate for us what power do we raise 3 to to get 14.8 billion. That'll tell us what m plus 1 is. So we can type this into a calculator. You can Google logarithm calculator, whatever you have to do. We find out that it's 21.32. That means 3 raised to the 21.32 power is 14.8 billion. So 21.32 equals n plus 1, which means n equals 20.32. So that tells us that we would reach 7.4 billion people between the 20th and 21st layer, which is pretty crazy. That seems pretty quick to me. So we kind of forget the impact that we can have on people, but maybe if you go to the supermarket and we decide to be a little bit more pleasant to the person behind the counter, well, then they go home and they're more pleasant to their child, and then maybe their child goes to school and they're more pleasant to their teacher, and then how quickly you see that kind of spread. Or maybe you actually want to explicitly start a pay-it-forward chain. Or maybe you decide you want to introduce yourself to three people you've never talked to before and talk to them for a while. And then you encourage them to do the same with three other people and how quickly we would get to know each other and expand our networks. Or maybe you want to do something a little more brave and widespread like Dr. King Jr. did. This isn't to be cheesy or preachy. It's just to show us that if we can be a little bit better to each other, how quickly that impact can spread mathematically. Thanks for watching. Here's some extension questions.